Ant, what are you doing? Oh, I was just talking to these sequoia trees, you know. They have uh, part of their contract for the YouTube videos is they get they get their miracle grow, unlimited miracle grow, you know. You sure know how to entertain yourself. <laughs> Everyone needs a hobby. All right. Well, it's the next day. And here's our beast. And I didn't, I didn't make this pot yesterday because I was a little concerned that the sand might be a little wet. And I've had real nightmares with them if the sand's too wet. The, the Portland can react with that water and, and become more soupy and be a big problem. So, so we're ready to, ready to make her now. So there's always a point in every pot when the water hits the concrete and there's no turning back. So here we go. All right, well, there's always a few last minute touch-ups on the sand. Looking pretty good. So this is the this is our mix here. And what you don't want to do is get it too wet. I'm feeling pretty good about this about this mix. If you've ever made brick mortar before that's the consistency you're looking for. So when I start to put this stuff on, I use I use this this motion of throwing it down on here. And that helps the cream and the concrete to, to come to come up on the on the bottom of it where it's hitting the plywood. So this part's a little boring. So we'll speed this part up for you. So here we go. All right, so once I get concrete all the way around one time, I want to go with the trowel right, right up against the plywood and clean off any excess that's, that's hanging out past the plywood. And this will be an ongoing thing to try to keep the you don't want any of the, you don't want the plywood hanging out. I mean, you don't want the, the concrete to hang out over the plywood. So now we're going to work on the bottom of the pot. So this part's a little boring too, so we'll we'll speed this up for you.
So there we go, there's our bottom. So now we've got to fill in this, this whole area all the way around. I like to use the back of the trowel for this. So there's our cake all frosted, just like frosting a cake. We got it all, all covered up. All right, so we're ready for the trowel work. This little trowel has made a bunch of pots. It's important to keep it nice and wet especially for this first pass. The first pass on them really, really kind of gets you into the shape. So it's a really important, really important pass. So I've let this sit for about 15 minutes and it's a good idea to let them, let it sit for a little while. So we'll start right here. Good idea to just take it a little bit at a time. Keep water on the trowel. This one's got lots of ins and outs on it. Almost made it one time around. Now we've got to fill it in where it needs it. You can do this part in little sections like that.
So we just want to keep building it up till the trowel touches everything. All right, we're getting farther down the road here. So at this point, this, the top of the trowel right here, this sits on this flat part up here. And it gives me a, it gives me a line right here. So I know that anything sticking up past that line, I can, I can take off with the trowel. So now's the time to get all that concrete off of there and this this is what's going to make the bottom of the the bottom of it parallel with the top so you can see this line right here that's what I'm trying to take it down to. So now I've got a fairly flat bottom. I am going to put three pieces of steel in the bottom of this one. So I've got some pieces here. So this is eighth inch steel or what coat, coat hangers are made out of, I think. So we're going to put these halfway into it. We're just going to press them in if we can. <laughs> We're going to have to saw them in. That's going to work. We'll make a little trough for them. So I can remember where those are. I'm going to use toothpicks. This is going to be the where the drainage holes are. I got the steel in there. Now it's time to get some drainage holes in it. This is a piece of one inch copper. 
And now that I've got my tooth fixed, I know I'm not going to hit the steel. drainage holes and from this point on it's just a matter of refining mostly this edge up here this trowel that's the hardest part of this trowel is getting this this little piece up here to to stand up and what makes it happen is the passage of time with all concrete it it has a time when it acts right because it's changing all the time and then it's setting up so so as it as it starts to set up it'll be easier for me to make this edge up here but it's always the last part that that come that comes together on it and it takes quite a bit of patience you just have to just have to go around and add to it and just keep trialing it I'll show you this little this little spot here See, it's just not quite ready to grab onto the concrete yet just needs a little more time to set up that's good all right we're ready for feet so here's the foot trowel just a piece of sheet metal nailed to that block All right, so we got it. We got the feet on there. Now we got a big enough piece of plywood here to to flatten them. This is also what what sticks them to the pot real good. probably been about three hours since I started and I did have it's been just sitting for about an hour so at this point 
a wet sponge can fix any any spot on it that needs fixing so like this little area right here So the wet sponge can basically just blends it all together at this at this point. So this pot was quite a bit harder than I thought it was going to be. Obviously, I never made one because you saw me cut it out. But I'm pretty happy with it now. And in 24 hours we'll turn it over and we'll see the results so we'll see you then hey everyone welcome back to my shop well, it has been 24 hours, and this this beast is feeling dry. <laughs> that temperature has a lot to do with with how fast concrete dries, and it's really cold right now. So, so if you live in a warm place, it it definitely dries a lot faster. But 24 hours is a dependable number to to be able to turn them over. So, what could go wrong here? Well, the only thing, the only problem I've had doing this is I've had one pot that slipped off the plywood when I when I tilted it up. So, so it's a good idea to try to hold on to the plywood and everything. So, here we go. Okay, it's a big one. <sighs> All right, so this plywood is stuck pretty good to this top. So what it needs is a notch with a piece of wood and a hammer. So here's our plywood. So at this point, obviously I'm going to take the sand out of it. So we don't need to we don't need to watch that. So I'll get the sand out and we'll be back with you. All right, we got the sand out of her and it's looking good. This is how they normally come out. And because this because this one is I guess because it's so cold right now and and against the inside edge here is right at that point where I can just take this my rubber glove and put the perfect radius on it. And this is why they need to they need to come out at twenty four hours because you wouldn't be able to do this tomorrow. You'd just be wasting your time but right now it's right in that state where it's in between getting really hard so that's why we take i take advantage of this time to to ease these edges on on the inside and the outside because this is when it's just super easy to work it
So I've mixed up some some Portland and and sifted sand and that's what we're going to dress the inside of the pot with. This fills all those cracks and you can fix just about anything on them right now. But it's because it's in that state. It's in the 24 hour zone. Tomorrow it wouldn't be this way. So you really have to take advantage of of this time to to do this kind of stuff because all this filling these cracks it'll all stick in there better because of the the timing. If you don't do this, the water can freeze in those cracks and it, it won't make it through through a winter. So from here on out it's just a cleaning job. Just want to get all the excess concrete out of it. And clean her up. So this is obviously the first time I made this pot and and it was not it was it was not easy. So if you're thinking about starting and doing this, the easy ones are the circles and the and the ovals, something that's consistent. All the all the in and outs on this pot made it very difficult. But I think it's gonna be really special. So there you go. Just need to keep cleaning it now. I hope everybody's going to try this concrete pot thing and we'll have as much fun as I have with it. And I'll see you next time on Bonsai by the Sea.